hi there everyone and welcome to this video today we are going to talk about eliminations um, in the business central environment so um, eliminations are something that you would carry out once you've done consolidation in your uh, BC environment uh, and I should start out by saying that um, consol uh, eliminations rather in uh, in BC um, are quite manual um, there are things um, that you can do um, to your business central environment you can make maybe some modifications which will make your life a little bit easier when um, you're doing eliminations but what I'm about to show you today is a, an out-of-the-box process for um, eliminations in business central um, okay so I guess first we can just run through some of the setup in the company that I'm logged into so I'm logged into my consolidation company here and uh, what I'll do is just take you through quickly some of the setup that we've done here so I'm going to go to um, my uh, business units and here you'll notice that I've got two business units um, Cronus UK Limited and Cronus US and we're consolidating those both at 100% each um, so it's just a simple um, sort of consolidation um, setup here in our consolidation company we are consolidating these two subsidiaries um, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is just consolidate our um, business units so here you can see I've got my starting date set as um, January uh, the first and the ending date um, as the 31st of Jan. Got my document number here as Jan 2024. I'm not going to include any dimensions and I'm not going to put in um, the pair of currency code. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press next and I'm going to go next and then I'm going to go finish. Um, and what this will do is uh, it will consolidate those two subsidiaries into our consolidation company. So we do have uh, another video that runs through that in a little bit more detail but I just wanted to show you uh, I guess for full context how that works um, and now if I come into my GL registers um, you'll see that I've got my two GL register entries from consolidation okay um, so now what I can go ahead and do is I can go and put in a journal that I would be using for my eliminations okay so um, I'm going to come into finance and general journals and here I can set up a journal batch specifically for this I'm just using the default one here doesn't really matter it's just a, a demo um, but as I said in in the real world you'd probably set up a, a more meaningful journal batch for this um, but let me jump into my journal batch here and I'm going to put in um, some GL codes here okay so I'm just using some uh, revenue accounts here um, I'm going to update the uh, description here for eliminations video and I'm going to put in an amount and I'm going to put in the other side of my journal okay so um, what we've done is we've come into uh, a general journal batch called default and we've just input a journal line in here um, the posting date here is 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 today's date but um, I can change that um, as, as necessary I'm just inputting a journal line here to show you um, and you can see I'm using a revenue account on one side of the journal we updated the description I put in an amount and I put in the other side of my journal okay um, now I guess typical things that you would do eliminations for um, not limited to but you could do something uh, you could do elimination journal sorry around uh, intercompany debt uh, perhaps intercompany uh, revenue uh, and expenses uh, so between your subsidiaries and maybe stock uh, and I guess um, you know loans and such you could do uh, elimination journals for a number of things uh, and I say this is a manual journal that um, I, I mean obviously this is just a demonstration but um, I guess you could have a, a process for tracking down those elimination entries as um, as efficiently as possible so you can build this journal perhaps using a, a function or, or, or using a report that you've got in the background there um, yeah just maybe before you go ahead and set this up 
Um, in a test environment, just have a think about how you can track down those entries that you would need to eliminate. I mean, dimension stands out as a, as a good answer there, but there's a few different ways. Um, but anyway, what you want to do is you want to get to the point where you've got a journal that you can input to say, these are the lines that I want to eliminate for uh, my consolidation company reporting. And once you've got that, um, you can run a report within the Business Central environment. So I'm going to search for this report and I'm just going to search for eliminations here. OK, and the name of the report that we're running is uh, GL Consolidation Eliminations. OK, uh, and over here, um, as we always get when we run a report within Business Central, we get a report request page. So I'm going to put in a starting date and ending date of 0101 uh, and 3101. Um, I can enter a business unit code. So I'll leave that blank for now and we'll just see the implications of filling that in a little bit later. Uh, but then most important for what we're covering here today, um, I need to input my journal template name, which is general and my journal batch, which is default okay so this general template name and journal batch basically need to tie back to the journal on which you have input your eliminating entries and from this point i can set um, show either the net change or balance we're just going to leave that as net change um, from this point i can go preview and what we basically get here guys is um, what uh, would happen on the um, on the on the general ledger of our consolidated company should we go ahead and post the elimination journal okay so if i just zoom in here and scroll down you see we've got um, a column here for gl account number gl account name consolidation company balance uh, we've got one here for posted eliminations which is blank right now but we'll come back to that one um, a little bit later We've got a total and then we've got our eliminations along with their descriptions okay so here you can see on my journal i put in gl account 10110 and the other side was 10210 okay and you can see my description has come through with the relevant amount and then on the right hand side here i've got a column that shows me the total including my eliminations okay so it's basically a report guys that's going to show me what's going to happen if i go ahead and post my elimination journal um i guess you could do you know a combination of reports to to achieve the same thing um but as i mentioned at the top of the video here um this is how it works out of the box in um, business central okay um, and let me just come back here. Let me press the close on this. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go ahead and input a business unit code in our report request page. OK, so we left this blank the last time we ran the report and uh, I can go ahead and input either Cronus UK or Cronus US. Um, but I can't input two of them at once. OK, so if I use my uh, my pipe character here and let's just go ahead and type in Cronus UK. Um, when I go ahead and press preview, it tells me, look, the business unit does not exist. So I can only put one of those in the business unit field at a time. OK, now everything else we've left the same. Uh, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is press preview again here. And what we'll get this time is the same report. You know, look, we've got the same eliminations, the descriptions and so on. But Notice instead of posted eliminations in this area here, this time we've got Cronus UK as a subsidiary. OK, so the idea is, is what business units you select, uh, what business unit rather, sorry, you select in that additional field is broken out here from your consolidation company balances. Um, so you've got your consolidation company balance here and the business unit that you selected in the report request page, you have that subsidiaries balances here in this column so i guess it's just there if you want to sort of break out um the uh, the, the the sort of transactions for ease of uh, reporting there okay so the idea is is we run this report we make sure we're happy with what we see and then very simply we can come back and we can post our elimination journal okay 
Um, so I'll just go ahead and post that and say yes and OK. OK, so that really is everything that I wanted to run through in this video, guys. So just to confirm there, the eliminations process, what we covered in the video was we went through consolidation setup. Uh, we input an example journal. Uh, which has our eliminations, our proposed eliminations on there. We then ran our GL consolidation elimination report, which basically showed us what would happen if we were to post the journal lines that sat in this journal batch. Um, and then once we were happy with that, we went and posted the journal. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you in this one, guys. I uh, hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.